So what's going on everyone, welcome back again to another Fox Tech video and in this one I'm gonna be talking about a common task that a lot of people want to do and that is how you can change a landscape photo to portrait on your iPhone. Now it doesn't matter what the reason for this action is in your case but let's discuss this important things which you need to know along the way. At first, it's important to understand that what you want to achieve might affect how you go about this task. Changing a landscape photo to portrait can mean different things depending on your goals and the type of image you have. One of the simplest methods involves cropping the image. However, keep in mind that by cropping, you might lose a significant portion of the image content. But to get started, open the Photos app on your iPhone, find the landscape photo you want to edit, and uh, once the photo is selected, tap on the edit button. It's somewhere in the upper corner. This will bring up various editing tools and you should tap the crop tool, which looks like a square with arrows around it. From here, you can adjust the crop area to transform your landscape photo into a vertical or portrait orientation. As I mentioned earlier, cropping the image to make it vertical will often result in losing some parts of the photo. It depends on the composition. You should bring all of the important elements uh, into the actual frame. So in case you have a person, you might crop out the background and just keep the person in. It really depends on your photo, but this is uh, how it essentially works. But you should also know, and it's important to mention, that with the advancement of AI, there are some tools available which can help with this transformation. Because you might want to consider using generative fill features. These tools can help to fill in the missing parts of an image after cropping or even without the cropping at all. However, these features are not currently available in the Photos app and you might need to use some kind of third-party app like Photoshop on a desktop or some AI generative fill. Just Google this and there are going to be plenty of options available even online without downloading any software. But these apps can generate background content behind the cropped area to make the image appear as if it were originally a portrait shot. But even though it can be effective, it's important to know that the resulting image may not be entirely authentic. Obviously, the generated background can look artificial and um, it's not showing the original scene. That's why I'm not a big fan of this. But anyways, that's everything what I wanted to say. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up and see you guys later.